Welcome to a video from NinjasLife.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a firmware update on the Korg ModWave. So there's a few firmware updates out, but the latest ones have a lot of new features, so I'm going to show you how you can do that. You're going to need a USB host cable, so this has got USB uh, A, type A on one end, type B on the other. Plug that into you. Uh, into your PC and I'm going to show you for Windows. It works on Mac as well, but it's a slightly different process. And this is the Windows 11, Windows 10. Um, I think I'll run it on the Windows 10 machine, but Windows 11, Windows 10, the same. So you need to go to Korg.com and download the ModWave firmware update, which I've done on this machine. So I'll switch to that machine in a minute and then connect up your USB. The latest version of the ModWave is 1.1.3, which was released on the 8th of December, so you need to get that file first. Obviously, since you watch this video, there might be a new version, but get the latest one. So first thing to check is that the networking mode enabled. So go to Utility, hold down Shift, and press Page Plus. And there you can see networking is on RNDIS, which is for Windows 8 and older. And if you want to use Windows 10 or 11, you need to change that. So you can use the, there. So if you're on Windows 10, 11, or a Mac, change that. So you need to be changing that there to NCM, which is the newer protocol. And when you do that, you need to then restart the device. So there we go, we can restart it now. If you go to Utility and press page uh, minus, you can see the version. So you see I'm running 1.03, and I'm going to do the update on that. So now plug the USB into the mob wave and into the PC. Okay, so I can go to the mob wave update, just extract that. Okay, so let's run the update. Okay, so the install's finished, so now we can run. Okay, so it's automatically detected that the um, the device because I plugged it in and we set that setting up so we can start the upgrade off. If I move over here to the mob wave, you can see there that it's doing the 1.13 update. Back on the mob wave, you can see here it's doing the firmware update. So it looks like that's completed now. So over on the PC, we can see that says update complete. So if I go to the utility page minus, you can see I'm on 1.13. So that's it, that works straight away. So that's completed the upgrade, and I'm just doing a backup now of the uh, editor librarian. You can do this over USB without in the way we've done which is effectively using networking over USB that requires a USB boot mode and you have to get uh, and I've got the instructions here from Korg that's quite complicated you have to hold down certain keys put it into a boot mode um, and you have to use the Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi USB bootloader that's because the Mobwave under the covers has got a Raspberry Pi USB compute module in there which is sort of powers the device but I would recommend you go with that that method I've just showed you there that works worked for me then and that uh, you can enjoy the new features on your mod wave 1.13 thanks for watching this video